Greg Lansing. ISU travels up to uh, Chicago to play Loyola tomorrow afternoon. Greg, uh, you like to emphasize plus one, plus two. You, you drop down to plus one after Wednesday, but an, obviously an opportunity to restore that tomorrow. Uh, you know, what, what kind of mentality you're trying to build in these guys, and, and kind of what did you do with maybe a little bit more time than you'd usually have for a conference game to prepare? I, I thought we had two really good practices. Uh, i tell you what we did, though, more than we usually do during the year. We worried more about us. We just haven't been playing as well as we'd like, and we need to iron out some things. It was good to have everybody uh, healthy and on the floor so we could get some things done. But guys were energized, and they did a really good job the last couple days. And what you try to do now is, and what we've always done, is you should just get try to get better every day. You know, um, we're not looking like we're in position. We're going to just win the league outright. But what our job to do is, is we've seen the best in the league there in Northern Iowa. We have to we have to improve. Uh, uh, so going into St. Louis, we have a chance. What kind of things do you want to iron out? What what are some of the things you're trying to emphasize to the guys? Well, just you know, being in, and not having the practice time, without, you have slippage and, and uh, some missed assignments, not doing things the right way. Uh, and on offense, I thought against Northern Iowa, we were a little out of character there. We were a little slow paced. Um, we didn't share it like we normally share it. Uh, but Northern Iowa will do that to you. They, they make everybody they've played all year look, look bad. So uh, we were no, no different. But there's some things that we could have done better and uh, just working on us, our ball movement, getting the ball inside and out, uh, being in attack mode, and being the aggressor. You mentioned focusing on yourselves, and that might be a very important uh, attitude to take into this game because, once again, you're faced with a team where uh, the personnel situation is uh, you know, on the bubble. We don't know about the status of either Milton Doyle or Christian Thomas at this point. You know, you faced it last week. At least you do have some film to watch you know, on Loyola's win over Missouri State the other day. But, you know... Is that kind of the you know what you try to drill into the guys that you know we don't really know what we're going to deal with? You prepare them, but you know ultimately you just have to focus on yourselves. Yeah, yeah, and well, they're going to do the same stuff. It's just going to be a matter of guarding those two guys a, a different way. They go on the road and win without two of their three best players. Uh, so that was a great win at Missouri State, and we'll be prepared for both of them to play and Doyle and Thomas and both outstanding players. And we, like you said, we've dealt with it. Um, uh, coming in and a little bit of the element of the own, unknown with the other teams, but uh, they're going to do what they do. They've been doing a good job, uh, and they've been getting better, and they, they're playing awfully hard, so uh, we're going to have to go up there with some energy. Who stepped up for Loyola against Missouri State the other night? Who looked good, and who did they kind of lean on to uh, you know, uh, pull out the win? You know, uh, Turk hit three threes. He had nine in the first half, and we consider him the best three-point shooter in the league. Uh, a couple of their young guys got going. Uh, uh, Richardson, who was a guy we recruited off the bench, had 14. Uh, and Earl Thomas, I think, I had 12 or 14. So it was a very low-scoring game. They did a great job. They really defended hard. They're going to defend uh, inside that three-point line like a lot of teams that we're playing. And then uh, they're very, uh, they have a great pace, but they're uh, very patient with, with what they do on the offensive end. Now, you might be the first person who's mentioned Turk as the best shooter in the league. What, uh, you know, what, what gives you that um, impression of him? Oh, yeah. I mean, you look at his percentages and you look what he's done and um, um, how people guard him. You know, there's other great shooters. That's take nothing away from a Mohannon or, or other guys like that, you know, that have hurt us with three-pointers. But uh, Turk is a big guard. He's got great range. He's got quick release. He's got a really nice stroke. Um, he hits them with pressure. Um, they run stuff for him to get him. And uh, he always gets their best defender out there on the perimeter, and he's still been very productive. All right. Fair enough. Thanks a lot.